everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a video about brands that I really want to try or try more of this year. So um, someone left me a comment asking me to do a video like this and I thought, oh my gosh, this is a great idea. So if you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I would love to have you come join my channel. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first one, I'm gonna scooch over so I can kinda like insert a little picture of the logo, but Lunar Beauty. I have not tried anything from Lunar Beauty, which is Manny MUA's brand. I have heard so many good things about their eyeshadows, their lipsticks, their highlighters, and I need to try them. So, I'm going to try them <laughs> this year. I'm always like, whenever they come up with a release, I'm like, oh, I might get that, I might get that, but I don't know. I don't know why I have not tried them. They look so beautiful. I really like that Strawberry Dream palette of theirs, as well as, um, I think it's called the Lunar Eclipse palette, but it's like neutral with blues. I really wanna try it. So, if you've tried anything from Lunar Beauty or any single one of these brands, please let me know in the comments down below. I am so interested. The next one, I need to try something from this brand. It is Glam Light. When they came out with their Icy collection, oh, I was tempted. I really like those eyeshadow palettes. I think they are so gorgeous. I know, you know, I probably, they probably wouldn't want, you guys probably wouldn't want to see a review on it if I bought it, but like, maybe if they come out with something really cool, up because, I just see so many things about their eyeshadow palettes. They do food themed palettes. They're just gorgeous. And I really want to hop on the bandwagon because I've heard that they are so good. So if you try to come from Glamlight, should I pick up the Icy like collaboration that they did? Because I know it's like an older collection. Like not a lot of people are talking about it anymore, but like it's so cute, right? Like that, it's, it's adorable. Now this pro this brand I've tried like a couple items from, but I wanna like, wanna get in to this brand and it's Ofra Cosmetics. I hear a lot of people talking about Ofra. I've tried a couple of their highlighters. I love them. I think their highlighters are phenomenal, but they have other things. <laughs> they have liquid lipsticks, they got foundation, they have bowling yards. And I, I, I need to, I need to try it. I need to just like do it. I know there are certain things sold at Ulta, but unfortunately my Ulta does not carry Ofra. So I feel like I'd have to order online and like, I don't know, I just, I just wish I could see a lot more things in store or like in person, but I definitely want to try Ofra in 2022. Um, I have heard that they have a foundation that I've heard is really, really good. So yeah, I, I need to try it. Like I want to. I. For the, like 2022, I wanna try new brands. I wanna try new makeup. I wanna, I just wanna go outside my comfort zone. So I am surprised that I have not tried this brand, <laughs> but I really want to, um, Rare Beauty. I love Selena Gomez. <laughs> like growing up, I loved watching her on Residence of Waverly Place. I like her music a lot. And I wanna try her makeup line. Now I haven't, I've heard really mixed things like, I've heard a lot of people say they didn't really like the foundation and concealer. I've heard things about their beauty sponge, like stuff like that. But I really want to try their liquid lipsticks and their eyeshadow. That's my main thing. Oh, and the mascara. I've heard the mascara is really good too. So yeah, Selena has this like red liquid lipstick and I know she's really like, a lot of the campaign photos have her wearing this red liquid lipstick. I want this. I, I want this red liquid lipstick. It is so pretty and I um, I love a good red lip. I really do. So, and all of her whole brand is $30 and under, which I think is a really cool concept because makeup is so expensive and you know, she's got these this like more bougie feel to it, but it's all under 30 bucks, which Next, this brand just recently came to Ulta and I see it on TikTok so much and I need to try it. It is Olaplex. Now, I already have really good shampoo and conditioner, but I would love to try like a hair mask from Olaplex or I've heard really good things about their bonding oil. I've heard that's good. It is so expensive. Like, I don't know, like some of this stuff, I'm like, oh my God, $30 for a shampoo that's this big. Yikes, that's, that's a little much, but like, just to like try it out. I don't have to like keep buying it over and over, like unless I love it, which 
honestly i probably will considering how many people i have heard talking about olaplex and how amazing it is and like one of my friends michaela she said that it like totally like vamps your hair especially if you have a lot of damage to it like bleaching or a lot of heat damage it might be working really well for you i have never dyed my hair this this is just my hair so yeah i don't know i should totally try it out though i really really want to try more of fenty beauty this year i want to try their bronzers their cream blushes i want to try more from this brand and i really have high hopes for what they're going to release in 2022 i just think it's going to be fenty's year is it just me i don't know <laughs> but i really want to try fenty fenty is so beautiful i love their lip glosses i love their brows mascara I've, and powder, I've tried their foundation concealer, but like I want to try more. I want to branch out, like I want to try their cream blushes. I, like with certain launches of certain products, I'm automatically like, no, I don't, no, no, I'm just, I just don't do that. Like I just don't do cream blushes. Well, you know what, Anna, it is time to try. And you know what, I want to try new things and start with makeup. I also want to try more of Laura Mercier. It is, it's a bougie brand to say the least. Laura Mercier is bougie AF. <laughs> Like, I have this blush from them, and I've talked about it so many times. It's the pomegranate blush. I want to try another blush color. That is, like, what I want to do. I want to try another blush color. I love the formula. Um, I want to try her foundation. I want to try her... Yeah, I want to try more things from her. I want to try more lip products. I want to do this. And, like, I just want to do it. And, like, I kind of get scared from some of these brands because I'm like, oh, my God, if I hate it. Well, you know what? I'll just return it if I hate it that much. The next one, this kind of like breaks my heart because Catrice just recently left Ulta. And that makes me really sad. I love a good like makeup brand that is really inexpensive, that is really freaking good. Like Essence, like I'm all about those kinds of brands. But when Catrice announced that they were leaving Ulta and just gonna be like on their website and on Amazon, I was like, oh, like <laughs> I'm sad, but yeah i i do want to try their true oh gosh i don't know what it's called but their hide their like hydrating foundation and concealer i really want to try that i i really want to try that and it sold out so quickly on ulta and they did not restock probably because they knew they weren't going to be selling an ulta anymore but i really really want to try more of catrice because the whole the full catrice line was not at ulta they had certain items at ulta but they did not have the full line i want to maybe maybe i'll check out their amazon store i have not done that i don't normally buy makeup from amazon but catrice like promotes like check us out on amazon so maybe i'll do that i don't know okay now this next one is another like i want to try more of this brand <laughs> um jacqueline cosmetics I know some people are like like hate Jaclyn Hill. Some people love Jaclyn Hill. I don't know. I'm I don't really watch a ton of Jaclyn Hill. I used to, but I don't really anymore. And honestly, I was just so curious about her makeup because I heard a lot of people talking about it and a lot of people saying good things about it. So that's kind of what really drew me on. Like a lot of people are like, oh my god, these highlighters are the best. These lip products are awesome. Like these blush and bronzer duos are awesome. And so that's kind of what made me want to try it is because I know a lot of people were kind of like, like having a WTF moment after the lipstick thing. And honestly, I didn't really care about the lipstick thing. I just think like stuff like that happens whatever, like move on, just get over it. And I was just excited to try something new from Jaclyn Cosmetics. That's what I wanna do. I wanna try more of her launches. Fun fact, I am. So today is February 7th. On the 11th, yes, on the 11th, it's supposed to come to Ulta. Their new like skin tint and concealer. I'm going to try them out and I'm gonna do a video on it. And that's just how it's going to be. I'm going to get them. <laughs> and I'm really excited about it. And, you know, I'm not someone who normally tries skin tints, for example. So for me, this is like me trying out something new. Like, would I ever, like, test a skin tint? No, I'm a full coverage kind of girl. I am. But I'm excited to try something new. This is just me doing it. Hey, so if you watch Ellie Dawson, um, she talks a lot about bling brushes. She just did a collaboration with them. It is absolutely beautiful. I want to try bling brushes. They are so beautiful. Okay, they kind of intimidate me because like, I have a lot of brushes already. And I probably should do a declutter. <laughs> um, but long story short, I want to try out bling brushes. I think they're beautiful. And 
I've heard like they, they're really good quality. So I want to try them out. Uh, but I have, don't really hear a lot of people talking about them. I do know they work with smaller influencers, which I think is super cool because I feel like a lot of brands like they kind of stay like stray away from smaller influencers. But like, come on, like you like smaller influencers are awesome. And I think more brands should be like blinked brushes. So I definitely want to check out blank brushes this year. Um, I don't know what set I would get if I would get like the Paige Corrin set or if I get the Allie Dawson set or if I get like a rose gold set. I don't know, but I definitely want to try them out in 2022. I hear so many people talking about Pixie, but why in the why in the world have I not tried them? I don't know. I'm at Target every week. They are at Target and I just kind of like like go right over them. I see them launching new stuff on Trend Mood, like Trend Mood posts about it and I'm like, oh cute, yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm totally into that, but then I never pay it up. I need to try Pixie. Like Tati just recently launched, like published her like 2021 favorites or whatever. There, there's this like Pixie glitter quad. I want this Pixie glitter quad and I've heard they're really, really good. I need to try this out. I need to try it out. <laughs> so like, it is like a, a need for me to try this out. Like I need, no, I don't need to, but I really want to. And I want to try out some of Pixie's stuff. Like I've heard their skincare is really nice. I've heard that, you know, the glitters, like, the main thing I think about is like glitters. And I was at Target today and I was like, mm, I'll go check to see if they have the glitters. And they're sold out. I was a little salty about it, but it's fine. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm definitely gonna try out Pixie in 2022. Final brand here, uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles. I tried them out for the first time in 2021 and I just bought their mystery box and that was it. And I want to try more. I wanna get Nudie too. I wanna get their blush palette. I wanna, you know, I wanna, I wanna purchase a new release from them. You know, I wanna do that kind of stuff. And I often stray away from it because I normally just go to Sephora or Ulta. I need to like just branch out. And so I really wanna try it more at Laura Lee Los Angeles in 2022. And yeah, that blush palette, I just keep seeing it and I'm like, dang, $28 for that? I need it. And no, I don't need anything. I just really want it. I want to try new makeup. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what brands do you want to try in 2022. Let me know in the comments down below. I am so curious. And if you've tried anything from these brands and you're like, oh my God, you need to test this, let me know. Like, I'm totally curious. I kind of am a person that keeps in my comfort zone a lot with makeup um, and I need, to, I, need, I need to do more. I want, I want to try more. I want to broaden my horizons and I want to help. I want to attract more people. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already, please be sure to subscribe, ring the bell and give this video a thumbs up. Again, I am here five days a week without fail. I am here Monday through Friday. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.